Hi guys, welcome to Tech Doings. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this common error on Windows and this has to do with your camera, okay? We're going to fix this error that says can't find your camera, all right? First thing, let's have a look at it. I'll just go right here to the search bar, just type camera. And if you click on this, just click on that. As we can see here, it says we can't find your camera. Check to make sure it's connected and installed properly. So here I'll be showing you simple ways of how to fix this, okay? Without wasting time, we're going straight to the point. Close this. The first thing you want to do is to check the access. Go right here to the Windows icon, right click on this, and go to your settings. In your settings, go to privacy and security on the left side here, click on that. Just scroll all the way down here. In Windows 11, might look different on Windows 10, but uh, it's a similar process actually. Here we have the camera. You look at the camera here under the app and permissions, and just gonna click on this side. As you can see here, it's off. Just gonna toggle this on. So you make sure your camera is on. This gives access for your camera, all right? So now you're gonna scroll down here under your apps and you're gonna check uh, which app you need this camera for and I'm just gonna toggle it on. For instance, if I need to use the camera for my WhatsApp, I'll just toggle it on and just make sure you've given permission to the apps that requires your camera, okay? So if this step did not help you, we're going to the next method. This is resetting your camera. Just gonna X this and we're gonna go back here. Uh, I'm gonna search for camera, okay? Just search for it. Now you're gonna right click on this camera and go to app settings. Under your app settings, you're gonna scroll down all the way. And what you want to do is to terminate it. Just terminate it. Just go back down here and reset it. Click on reset. After doing this, uh, you check again, and if you're still having this issue, we're going to try the next method. Just going to X on this. Now we're going to go right here and type device manager. Device, all right. Just click on that. So um, here we have cameras. Just in case you cannot find your camera here, just go up here to the view, click on show hidden devices. This is going to bring out everything on your device manager. As we can see down here, the problem here is that this is not enabled, all right? So you're just gonna highlight on this, right click on it and enable device. Okay, as we can see, now it's enabled. So if your problem is not still solved after it's enabled, we're gonna have to uninstall this, right click on it, just go ahead and uninstall device. Click on uninstall. So don't worry, we can install it back easily by going to action, then select scan for hardware changes. Click on that. If we look right there, we can see that the camera is back. So after doing that, you're going to go ahead and check if the problem has been solved. Otherwise, we're going to go to the next method. Here, we're just going to go down here on the search bar. I'm going to type on virus and threat protection. Once you type on virus, this is going to come out. Just click on this. And you're going to go down here to manage settings. Right here, you're just going to disable they toggle this off, toggle everything and dismiss, toggle this off and dismiss. After doing this, you're going to check if this has helped you solve the problem. And if not, just go back and toggle this on. All right. I recommend you leave your antivirus on at all times. This is essential for your PC protection. So um, if you're still having this same issue, um, the next thing we can do is to check for a Windows update. All right. Just right click on this Windows icon and go to your settings. Down here on the left side, you just click on Windows Update and select check for update. All right, after checking for updates, um, as we can see here, it says you are up to date. Um, one last thing you can do here is to go down to advanced options. Just click on this and you're going to go right here to optional updates. Okay, click on this optional update. Right there, you have driver updates. Okay, just expand this. As you can see, we have um, these options uh, related to this computer itself. Okay, so you can just highlight on these. If you have any, just download and install. Okay, download and install. Then after the updates, uh, we just go ahead and restart your computer. Okay, that's it about this video, guys. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on my future posts. And also give this video a like. All right, subscribe, guys. I need your support. Thanks for watching this video. And Peace out.